in an academic year, it's probably the most fun I'll ever have doing an opera. To get an opportunity like this, I thought, oh, that's gonna, that, that'll be great. I just love the kind of the physicality of it all. If I had my way, everybody in UCL would take part in putting an opera on because I think you learn extraordinary lessons of responsibility and teamwork, your role in the situation, your uh, relationship to other participants and to the project itself. No other art form um, quite entails the breadth of ingredients that this does or the richness of experience it offers. I find the uh, story uh, of Genoveva interesting, certainly. You've got this very religious, very pure side of the opera and uh, the other side which is much darker. It's, a, it's a, an opera with two different storylines um, that kind of merge into one and become a bit of a mess. But I always think the ending's a bit too perfect. <laughs> University College Opera was first performed in 1951. The idea is that, I guess early on, that unusual pieces were chosen and so it has always been. And now there's a great expectation out there in the music world to know what we're doing next or what we're going to do next time and I get bombarded with suggestions about how do you, why don't you do this or do that. Um, it has in a sense created quite a sort of forward-looking agenda out of um, its history and expectation over years. I mean, it is Britain's most high-profile student opera. Last year was my first year doing an opera, and that it was daunting the first time, because it's a professional theatre. I hadn't quite realised how big uh, a theatre this was really. So it, it is exciting to have a, a really nice stage and um, yeah, to perform in such a venue. I know there's also going to be national press here on the first night of the opera. I'm yeah. feeling quite nervous. <laughs> nervous and uh, yeah, apprehensive certainly, you know, trying to fit in work around it is uh, a big challenge and I've got my deadline for the dissertation during performance week. So I have to really balance out rehearsals on one side and work on the other. I do that by bringing in a book or my laptop and working on my dissertation whilst I'm not in a scene. I suddenly discover that, you know, the second oboe is the captain of the hockey team or, you know, a string of them get firsts or something. I guess it's a lot of bright people who do all sorts of things very well. I'm weighing up the idea of going into singing professionally. So I get a kind of perspective of the professional world of singing, which is, has been really useful for me to make decisions about my own future. Being part of a production like this is actually quite um, a special thing, especially at UCL. I think it's the only place where we, the students get to work with uh, professional opera singers. So it's a kind of a, a step towards a real life in that sense, and you're treated as, as equals, even though obviously we're just the students. The opera is run by, you know, a bunch of students, but don't underestimate them. They're some of the most remarkable young people you'll ever meet. Oh.